second channel, man, and the beat from the intro is provided by Michael Ortiz. There's a link in the description below that's going to take you to downloadpads.com, where you can live stream this beat tape and get the contact information via Twitter. And if you holler out to get some beats, tell them I sent you. But anyway, on to today's replyness to that G unit. Now I'm talking about with Kid Kid on it. I'm Damn shocked of this shit, my dude. I never believed in a million years that G-Unit would come back together. Like, because I compared what they go through to what I have gone through in my past, man. I've came up with a crew in which these motherfuckers started talking slick and I never forgave them. Like, I was good friends with these motherfuckers for like six, seven years and I still hold that shit against them. I will never do a song with them. I never help them promote themselves. None of that shit. But then you look at the whole G-Unit thing, how 50 Cent just pretty much went on a rampage saying that Lloyd Banks, Tony Yayo, they was just his fucking hype men and shit. And then how he leaked the audio of Young Buck crying on the fucking phone. These is inexcusable offenses, my dude. But yet, y'all gonna come together, rally behind them? And this is why you gotta understand, it's all about the money with these dudes, man. Like, 50 Cent is doing the damn thing independently right now. So they saying they just sat down, addressed all their issues, and they're fucking straight, and they're going to be dropping a project soon type shit, man. And, hey, I'm not knocking it. Y'all better men than I am, but... Damn. But I'm hoping that this song is not how the G-Unit project's gonna sound, because this was pretty fucking bad, dude. I really expect so much better out of all of them, except for Yale, because each of them as individuals, except for Yale, actually hold their own lyrically and can actually put out some damn good music. But overall, I'm anxiously anticipating what they're gonna do if they can actually pull it together. But this is a track I definitely recommend people to go ahead and listen to because it is the reunion track of G-Unit. But still, it's not worth the download or anything special. Anyway, on to Ask, Download Pass, and Apple Lux says, Why is it that everyone hates on everything that Kanye West does. And you know what? That's a bullshit stereotypical thing to say. I've given Kanye West a lot of credit over the four years that I've been doing this from his genius mind of businesses that he's been fucking doing to changing the game musically even though it's unpolished type shit. And Jamal says, you black Americans, you don't know about Africa. This track that Kanye doing is all to show love for the motherland type bullshit. I know I'm paraphrasing the shit out of that. But first of all, Kanye making this song doesn't mean that he's outright supporting fucking Africa. I mean, the song Blood Diamonds would be the closest thing to him supporting Africa, but yet in the song he's saying how he's still rocking his fucking diamonds and shit, and we're still to this day, he's still rocking diamonds and shit. And secondly, this just brings me to how you types of motherfuckers make us all look weak. Not only do the dumbass motherfuckers who be like, oh, these light-skinned niggas is full of shit, like light-skinned versus dark-skinned. And then I know a bunch of Africans that's like straight up down for the cause, down for the struggle that we all have as people of color in this world. But there's always those African niggas that try to separate and make themselves different from American black people and shit. Just to shit on your own fucking people. So what, you niggas is in fucking Africa? You get hated the same way we get fucking hated. And you make us look fucking weak talking this nonsense, man. I'm tired of it. I hope you enjoyed the show. You can follow me at Twitter up there. And you can go to DownloadPads.com. That's down there to read today's article.